All right, this is uh, Coach Big P, DeepDishFootball.com. How you doing? Uh, time now to go for round two scores and whatever. I've already talked about them on breakfast with Coach Big Pete this morning. Um, might as well do Sunday conclusion again. Round two. Uh, just a quick reminder to everyone, Deep Dish Football Game of the Week uh, for the quarterfinals is Oswego at Lincoln Way East. Can't wait. It's going to be a great game. Can't wait to uh, visit Lincoln Way East. should be a fun time. All right, let's go over the scores. Lincoln Way East, for said mentioned before, Beats uh, St. Charles East. Uh, wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry about that. I got the wrong notes. <laughs> Those are notes from Thursday, actually. Um, hmm. ah, there we go. Lincoln Way East, 15. St. Charles East, 14. No surprise there. Uh, in that St. Charles East runs a triple option. And again, if you have not played against the triple option a lot, you will have trouble. It's no, there's no doubt about it. Oswego beats the Glenbard West at Glenbard East. Um, again, changed fields, uh, better field conditions, uh, better for Oswego. Uh, I thought that when they moved the, I thought when they announced they moved the game, I thought Oswego was going to get the advantage, and I was right. Oswego uh, twenty-four, Glenbard West four, uh, twenty. Big game, big upset. Naperville Central goes to Homer Flossmore, beats them thirty-one to twenty-eight. Thirty-one to twenty-eight. Good game for Naperville Central as they go on to the quarterfinals again. It's <clears throat> Naperville uh, Central has done an unbelievable job. Main Self beats Warren Township again. That's not really big of a surprise. Main Self is a very very good opponent, especially with that offensive line at the running back Fotis and their defensive backs too. Uh, Manuka beats Barrington in an overtime game. Huge shout out for Coach McCombs and what he's been doing with the Manuka Indians. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's a good game uh, for them to win. Well, not, of course, it's always a good game. It's a playoff game, but Manuka, um, they're just doing things the right way. McCombs first year coaching at Manuka, so it's good to see. Edwardsville beats uh, Palatine. Okay, O'Shea gets five touchdowns. Uh, I'm sorry, caught five touchdowns uh, in a playoff record. But lose, but uh, Peloton loses to Edwardsville, uh, thirty-eight to uh, thirty-five. Uh, Maris beats uh, Curry, no surprise there. Lion uh, Lyola beats Hinsdale Central. I thought Hinsdale Central was going to win that game, but Lyola is just too is just overwhelming. Class Seven A Bennett beats Rockton Hunahu, which was a huge surprise to me. Um, congratulations to Bennett. Again, they deserve it. Linkway Central beats Hersey. Batavia uh, beats uh, Weedon North in overtime. Congratulations to Batavia and congratulations to Weedon North. You made me eat some crow. You guys deserve it. Uh, you guys had a great season. Lincoln Way West beats uh, Elton 42-13. Uh, to 13. Lincoln Way West, again, looks really good, actually. May, uh, Mount Carmel beats Normal. Uh, I thought Normal was going to actually do good that game, but uh, it was a close game, 14-13. to East St. Louis beats Buffalo Grove. Congratulations to Coach Fuck and the Buffalo Grove uh, team. They had a hell of a season this season. Lake Zurich beats Plainfield North. Uh, Lake Zurich continues their roll on. Uh, one, I, me personally, I think one of the least talked about teams in IHSA. St. Rita beats uh, St. Charles North. Uh, congratulations to St. Rita. Uh, and a good season for St. Charles North. Um, and Coach Pomzak. Prairie Ridge beats Cary Grove in a tough fought game like they had their first week. Willowbrook beats the Kelb. Willowbrook, a team that you need to look out for, especially running back Jason. Uh, good offense and uh, the Kelb, good season. You, again, you guys made me eat crow too. Congratulations on a good season. Hoffman Estates beats Lake Forest. Hoffman Estates is still roll, is rolling great. Belvedere North beats Grays Lake North. Congratulations to Coach Baker on a great season. First year coming out of Minnesota. St. Lawrence beats Hinsdale South. Clinton, I think, had like over 300 or 200 yards rushing over Hinsdale South. Congratulations to St. Lawrence. And congratulations to Hinsdale South and Coach Barry. Great season. Providence beats Normal West. Uh, again, Providence is rolling another team that no one's really talking about. Nazareth beats Danville. The Sacred Heart Griffin beats Marmion Academy. Again, setting up for a great game between Springfield uh, SHG versus Nazareth. Great game. 
Film Speed Solero Academy, Stanley. Lamont beats Lakes Good. Uh, was it the Sterling Kalen game? Sterling beats Kalen. Uh, Sterling, um, Nyrell Sullivan, the complete package. Uh, Marion Central beats Glenbart Self. Good season for Glenbart Self. Congratulations, Coach Christy. Dunlap beats Rich Central. Hillcrest beats uh, Chatham Glenwood. Congratulations to Hillcrest. Uh, Peoria Richwoods beats Morton. Congratulations to Peoria Richwoods. Washington beats the Kate MacArthur. Rochelle beats Johnsburg. A, a huge upset. Congratulations to Rochelle. Congratulations to Johnsburg. Coach uh, Dearborn found a great season. Morris beats Ridgewood. Congratulations to Morris and congratulations to Coach G of Ridgewood. You guys had a hell of a season. First playoff win since I think it was like 20, 20 years almost. Uh, or 30 years almost. Uh, Rabby beats Richmond Burden. Dixon beats Genoa Kingston. Rochester beats uh, Belleville Althoff in third quarter. They pulled away into the fourth. Congratulations to Derek Leonard. Heron beats Unity uh, Tolino Unity. I thought Tolino Unity was going to win that game. Highland beats Effingham. No surprise there. Highland's been taking it over. And Hershon, a surprise score 43 to, to Taylorville 6. I thought it was going to be a close game, but Hersher laid the wood on that game. Uh, Wilmington wins over Farmington in an upset, but again, I had Wilmington as an upset. IC beats Piatone. Congratulations to IC. That was the deepest football overtime game. Um, setting up for a re rematch between IC and Wilmington. Uh, Williamsville beats Bloomington Central Catholic. Byron beats Monticello. I thought that Byron was going to win that game. Pleasant Plains beats Newton. I thought Newton was going to win that game, actually. Carlinville beats Decatur St. Teresa. I thought Decatur St. Teresa was going to win that game. Vandalia beats Greenville. Anna Jonesboro beats Panna. Uh, Anna Jonesboro is a team that you must keep an eye out in the 3A section. They have a great running back. All right, Sterling Newman beats Hope, Chicago Hope Academy. Congratulations to Matt Kelly and Chicago Hope Academy for a great season. Orion beats Clifton Central. Congratulations to Clifton Central on a great season in the comments. You guys made me eat crow. Um, you guys proved me wrong. Congratulations. Um, Mario Forsyth beats El Dorado. Last get team of the Black Diamond is out of the is out of uh, the playoffs. Downs Tri Valley loses to Shelbyville. Shelbyville still rolling. Shelbyville looks good. I keep saying Shelbyville looks good. Shelbyville versus Westville is going to be a good game. Lena Winslow beats Midge Midgeville. Freeport Aquin beats Stockton. Uh, deep this football game of the week. Forston versus Fulton. Forston wins a huge, great 1A competitors. That's all I've got to say. They are that good. Uh, Carrollton beats Camp Point Central. Uh, Athens wins over Argenta. Or Oriana, I have Athens as a huge, huge dark horse in my 1A thing. So, big games, small games, everything was good. Um, some surprises, some not surprises. Some me eating crow. Congratulations to the teams that I said that I was eating crow. You guys had great seasons. Um, it's going to be an interesting week in, these, in the IHSA Football 2017 quarterfinals. Really interesting. I can't wait for Oswego versus uh, um, Oswego versus uh, Lincoln Way East. The first big playoff game ever that I've been to. This will be my first ever one. So it should be a great game. Sacred Heart Griffin versus Nazareth is going to be a hell of a game. Uh, Wilmington versus... Uh, uh, Wilmington versus IC is going to be a great game. Highland versus Hersher is going to be a hell of a game. Um, uh, there's one more. Th was it? Four, four, four. Rochester versus Heron. Watch out for that game, too. That's another game to look out for, too. But it should be a fun time. Can't wait. Quarterfinals, here we go. Um, if you like my work, please follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Also, my email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Coachbigpetefp at gmail.com if you have any questions or any of that work. If you like my work, please feel free to go to deepdishfootball.com on the right-hand section and feel free to leave a donation slash tip for travel fees and everything else. Thank you so much. Um, can't wait. And thank you to the people of Fulton Force and I had a fun time, especially Piatone. Congratulations to Coach Tully on a great season. Piatone Blue Devils, uh, you guys will be back next year. Uh, and 
all the Piaton fans and parents. It was great to meet to you and talk to you. Also, the Fulton Force and parents and fans. Great time talking to you guys, too. Have a lovely Sunday. Let's get ready for quarterfinal play of football.